Crocody Tears. US hosts exposed has, Meg true color in Netflix trailer they are hypocrites. Meghan and Harry were mocked on the talk show following the release of a Netflix trailer promoting their upcoming series which dropped while Prince William and Kate were on a visit to the US. Both Joy Behar and Anna Navarro slammed the couple during a chat about the release of the trailer. Behar suggested that the clip had been purposely released to clash with the Prince and Princess of Wales trip while Navarro said she was sick of the sight Meghan crying. Navarro said, I just wish that every time I saw Meghan and Harry they weren't crying and wiping away tears and they were giving me something positive. Three episodes of the six-part series are set to be released Thursday December 8, a fact which wasn't mentioned in the trailer. The show has been billed as an insight into the couple's life and their struggles, however royal watchers have said that the documentary series will likely be critical of the firm. The timing of the trailer sparked uproar among royal commentators and drew widespread condemnation as an attempt to overshadow Prince William and Kate's America trip. So, do you make anything of this release? Do you think it was deliberate? Behar asked her co-hosts on The View. Sonny Hostin gave the Sussexes the benefit of the doubt, arguing that they likely did not have control over when the trailer would be released. She said, I didn't realize they had that much power within Netflix, that they could say, we are gonna drop it now because my brother and his wife are coming to the States. However, as the conversation turned to Navarro, she made it clear she believes the Sussexes had at least some say in the decision. First of all, I think Netflix is great at marketing and I think Harry and Meghan are great at marketing themselves. They have done, they've now earned tens and tens of millions of dollars out of their story, which they have been telling, it seems to me, for years now, and they're very good at it, Navarro said. She added, so I don't know if they had the power to tell Netflix, drop it when my brother is here, but I think they probably did have the power to tell Netflix, don't drop it when my brother is here. Sarah Haynes then chimed in, appearing to question the amount of publicity the couple were receiving when they wanted privacy after they left the UK. The latest trailer from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex reveals a series of hard-hitting claims that take direct aim at the royal family. Over an image of senior royals on the Buckingham Palace balcony, Prince Harry says, there's a hierarchy of the family. You know there's leaking, but there's also planting of stories. He also describes the pain and suffering of women marrying into this institution in an apparent reference to his wife, Meghan, and mother, Princess Diana, and their experience of royal life. Then, the issue of the royals and race is raised, with a commentator saying, it's about hatred. It's about race. No one knows the full truth, Harry says in the video. We know the full truth. Since being released on the Netflix YouTube channel, the trailer has garnered nearly 10,000 comments. It seems the video has fallen victim to the I love the part meme, with an onslaught of sarcastic jokes being made at Harry and Meghan's expense. Below are some of the most spicy messages we've seen so far from different accounts. Adding to the drama, it was recently reported that the documentary's original director quit on the project. A TV insider told the New York Post that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had turned to Garrett Bradley, director of the critically acclaimed Netflix series about tennis prodigy Naomi Osaka, but they reportedly clashed over the direction of the show.